The Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth wish to acknowledge that we are located on the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the beautiful homeland of the Métis Nation. All right, that's uh, our little intro music for the youth. Michael and Trevor, you guys like that one, I know. <laughs> oh, that means we're on. That See? means we're back. I have returned, and look at this fantastic setup. The only thing that is missing are our kids. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Or sorry, our youth. Yeah, our don't call young them kids. adults. Don't call them kids. Our beautiful young adults. Um, hi, I'm Kathy Cook, and I am back from a bit of an extended leave. Uh, Back here at the Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth, I have missed um, every day, Miss John like crazy, Miss Cheryl, um, and most of all, um, not to take away from you guys, but <laughs> have missed every member of our Youth Ambassador team. So I would like to just start by uh, giving them a shout out and saying, you know, I'm really glad to be back and I hear you guys have been rocking it in the last six weeks and picking up uh, all my slack. <laughs> so thank you so much to all of you. Cannot wait to, uh, to be able to see you either in person or for our next Zoom meeting. Um, but with that, we'll get right into it. Um, so what's let's... today? Episode 34, but November 20th, 2020, what is today? <gasps> Oh, is today the 20th? Yeah, today's the 20th. Today is the 20th. So I would like to say happy National Child Day. Um, every year we have the beautiful pleasure of uh, setting up something to celebrate how, um, how important young people are. Uh, we celebrate National Child Day. We involve our youth ambassador team. They usually create some fantastic um, venue in order to, to celebrate how special young people are. And unfortunately, we can't today. So maybe we could, uh, I'll, I'll let you, because you're just getting back. So I'm just going to hand you this. Okay. Maybe, maybe you can uh, share a little bit for the, you know, the youth and anybody watching. What is National Child what Day here? What is National Child Day? November 20th is National Child Day. It is also World Children's Day. So this day marks the anniversary uh, when children's human rights were recognized by the creation of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Children. Um, as we always do, we go through our 42 rights. Today we'll be focusing on number 42, government should make known to children and caregiver each of their rights. Mm -hmm. Um, why, is National, why is National Child Day important to the Manitoba Advocate? It is really important to us because we want to carry out our mission to amplify the voices and champion the rights of children, youth, and young adults. This day also provides a natural opportunity to promote the UNCRC and to encourage everybody to increase their understanding of children's rights. John, you want to add to that? I think you've covered it. I mean, we're, you know, part of what we're doing today is talking about National Child Day because of how important it is and right number 42 just fits so the government should make known the UNCRC rights to children and their caregivers and I think that's that's kind of what we're doing that's what our role is um, but I think that it extends beyond us I think it's something that everybody you know caregivers and children anybody who knows about the UNCRC rights needs to then pass it on to other youth and other children and other caregivers um, because if you don't know it, that's a violation of right number or article number 42 right there. Exactly. So when we always talk about the responsibility um, of adults and of, of caregivers, so this is a really big one. So children do have rights. They have 42 special rights. And it really is our responsibility to make sure that not only do all young people know that they have rights, but to make sure that everybody knows they have rights, right? Anybody we come in contact with. So um, got a rights t-shirt here, got rights t-shirt there. We have our Yaz hoodies. So um, John and I, oftentimes our goal really is to be walking billboards. So yeah. So I guess with that too, we'll get right into, so part of National Child Day and Article 42, uh, our youth, our brilliant Yaz team came up with this idea and they're called Got Rights Boxes. 
um, because normally we mark today with our youth in person, which we couldn't do. So we, we put it to them, how can we do a kids takeover event with National Child Day this year? And the brilliant idea they had was let's send out these got rights boxes and these rights boxes are going to go to classrooms and, and educators that are interested and they're going to teach kids about National Child Day, about the work in Macy, and then most importantly, about what the UNCRC is. Um, so we have a booklet right there that we were getting some of the information on. This was uh, a bit of a lesson plan and activity game. There's a UNCRC Jeopardy inside. And yeah, it was something, again, that was when we talked to our youth, our Youth Ambassador Advisory Squad, they thought of this. And I think that's what makes it even more brilliant. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give a quick shout out to our participating classrooms. Uh, so we have Dalhousie School in Winnipeg, HS Paul School in Winnipeg, St. John's High School, and Riverbend School in Winnipeg. And then we have Carmen Elementary School, Robert Smith School, Westwood School in Thompson, St. Laurent School, Ecole Edward Schreier School in Beaujolais, Seguin Anishinaabe Community School in Seguin. Uh, Otter Nelson River School out in Cross Lake, and Neil Dennis Kimash School out in Sapitawayak. Wow, so quite a bit of, uh, quite quite a, a number of schools participating. Um, I'm going to say we apologize, or we're sorry if you missed the boat on uh, getting these packages, mm -hmm. because uh, we hope that next year we'll be able to celebrate in person. Uh, but if not, um, you know, just send us a line and, and we can look at adding you to the list for next year. Um, one of the other things I just wanted to talk about, actually it popped into my head with the uh, making these rights known to caregivers. Um, one of the things is we like to have comments left in, the lo in, in our um, comments after the, the episode airs. So if there are any other ways or ideas you have that we could make sure that we're highlighting these rights, let us know. We're open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know what we, with the pandemic hitting, we're, we're trying, we have to be creative and that's why we're looking for feedback and youth feedback. Um, we're doing some online presentations now. Um, we're doing two tomorrow as two a matter tomorrow. of fact. And one today. Oh, one today. One that's today great. as well. So we, you know, we're going to be still able to reach out and, and connect with you, let them know about their rights. So, uh, care providers, uh, schools, classrooms, connect with us, um, even with these got rights boxes because they were marked for National Child Day. I'm pressing and hoping that we can keep them going um, in the new year and, and have opportunities to send them out to more classrooms. So, hey, if there's an interest, contact our office because you never know. If we have enough interest, um, we can possibly make it happen. So... Absolutely. And, and as John and I said, we part of what we like to do is be walking billboards. Uh, we really want to make sure that everybody knows that children have these special rights. So especially in kind of the wake of the pandemic and with this online learning, um, we're learning. Well, John's our technical um, guru. He's brilliant at it. So I'm learning. I'm learning how to uh, do this online, how to try and do it remotely, um, how to talk a little bit louder with a mask. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, we, we are open to making sure that we're available and ready uh, to prevent or to promote all of these children's rights and just to kind of prevent the idea that we're becoming complacent on these rights. We mm -hmm. don't want to. We want to make sure that even in the wake of this, everybody knows and everybody keeps it in their forefront that um, our youth are so important and so special. And it's, it's just key that we're making sure we're all working together to take care of them. So speaking of our special youth, um, we're going to highlight our year two anniversary video for our Yaz. We're going to play it for you right now and uh, just show you some of the, the fun we had with our youth. And it was an interesting year, you know, especially starting in March. But as you can see, up until March and even uh, afterwards, we were still able to connect. Um, and our youth had lots of fun for this year. I'd like to, you know, thank them for joining us and looking forward to our start of year three right now. So we'll play that video for you right now. <laughs>
What did you think of that video? <laughs> You've seen it. We couldn't see it here, but... Uh, well, um, it was created while I was away, and I think it's fantastic. So really lucky that we have John uh, working hard every day to make sure he's highlighting all the fun that we're having. Um, the other thing, actually, before I forget, because um, today is, is uh, a special day for someone, so we want to give a shout-out to Brooklyn and say happy birthday, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. With that said, we don't want to forget yesterday's special day, so uh, happy birthday, Keegan, Seth, and uh, we hope that you both were able to celebrate and enjoy, um, you know, your special day, um, regardless of what's going on out mm -hmm. there. Um, before I forget, I do want to mention for the video description, uh, just check it out where there are some helpful links um, that you may find you want to check out. We have our uh, God's Right video, or sorry, our Yaz videos <laughs> uh, all about the UNCRC rights. We have all our previous uh, youth engagement live uh, episodes, uh, YouTube and Facebook. So just check that video description. There's always helpful links in there. Um, and I didn't want to forget mentioning that. So. Um, yeah, and you know what, we're always looking at fun ways to make sure that we are um, amplifying your voice and just making sure it gets out there. So again, we, we are open to if any young person out there, or adult for that matter, mm -hmm. uh, would like to make a short video, uh, one to one and a half minutes on any one of the 42 rights, uh, we would be happy to um, play it on one of these Friday mm -hmm. episodes just so that we have some... Uh, a little bit of diversity, and it's not always just John and I. Like I said, we are really, really hoping that for the next few episodes, we can resume having our youth here mm -hmm. um, in our office because um, while I was off, I had the opportunity to watch watch our fantastic crew. And, and although, uh, you know, John and I, we're, we're getting okay at this. They are fantastic. So Very. Um, our hope is that they'll be able to come out and they'll be able to do these presentations for you and have these little short videos mm -hmm. and highlight the rights that are important to them. So just as a, I guess, a recap, I really want to hit home article number 42, that it's up to the government, but not just government, it's up to all adults and, and the community at large to make sure that children and other caregivers know about the UNCRC and the 42 rights that are contained with that for the child. Um, this is very important because we did our listening tour and in, in presentations we've done, one of the things that we hear a lot, I didn't know I had rights or uh, a youth not even be able to give maybe more than one of these rights. So I think we need to make that, uh, you know, take it all on and just try and get this out there so that the, the youth and caregivers, everybody knows about these rights because they're not optional. Um, these are law. These are things that uh, have been signed on and ratified in Canada. So uh, you can't pick and choose what children's rights to follow. So, and, you know, there's a lot of different ways that government can make these rights known to uh, children and caregivers. One of those, um, you know, that's part of our work here as an independent office is we really are able to kind of ensure that services children are receiving are beneficial to them and are safe and are healthy for them. Uh, but part of that responsibility, again, is, you know, lays with the caregivers, but really does lay with the government in ensuring that we are creating spaces and supporting offices and, and uh, different organizations that are doing this work for children. Mm -hmm. uh, so making sure that there is a really um, strong kind of unified approach to, to supporting all of the rights of children. So I'm just going to close it off for me and say thank you for watching. Welcome back, Kathy. It's nice to have uh, you back. And just be sure to, uh, you know, keep safe, follow the public health orders. Please wear your masks. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see you again next week uh, for another episode. Yeah, and I just want to say it's great to be back and uh, really happy to be sitting back here with John again. We're missing Cheryl, but we'll probably be doing mm -hmm. this in doubles or singles. Uh, just for a little while longer, but it's great to be back. Again, I want to just shout out to all our youth ambassadors and tell you all I missed you like crazy, and I absolutely cannot wait till we can just get back to doing the work that, uh, that we love to do and that we do so well together. So have a great Friday, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Thank you. Happy National Child Day.